Welcome back to Everyday Iowa on this finally Friday. Time to talk about your car. And ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wright is here from John's Automotive in Cedar Rapids. Award-winning Mr. Wright and John's Automotive yes. in Cedar Rapids, by really? the way. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, we were uh, just voted top nine repair shops in, in Iowa. That's so, awesome. Uh, That's a good first, number. Yeah. First and foremost, I, I mean, my, I'd love to thank my staff. Um, it's a team effort. My business partner Bob in the Quad Cities and Doug and Dan and, and Drew at the shop. It's a it's definitely a team effort and it's a it's a great honor. But um, it doesn't ha it doesn't go without them guys being mm -hmm. there. And, yeah. and now that you've said their name on TV and they're all watching in the shop, this means Al doesn't have to buy you lunch. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I'll probably still buy lunch. We got, we got, we got, we got, a, we got a birthday in the shop today, too, so I, I got to stop and, and uh, we'll take care of that. Good. Well, we got some trivia coming up, but Catherine wanted to know. Yes, I yeah. just wanted to know what's been keeping you busy this last few weeks besides Chris's car. <laughs> yeah. Chris's car has is, uh, is is kept us busy. Um, uh, basically, we're, we're seeing people getting ready for their for their summer vacations and, and trips, and um, we're starting to see a little bit of air conditioning when the weather got warm. So, um, just the general maintenance stuff still. Okay. I mean, we're st yeah. still All right. hammering check, things out. Check this out. Look at the monitor, because we have a brand new animation for Ooh. car care trivia. Mm. Look at that. Oh. Fancy. Yeah, we commissioned uh, George Lucas for that, by the way. <laughs> All right, question number one. Let's talk about cars. When filling your vehicle with gas, you should A, stop when the pump shuts off, B, put as much in as possible, C, continue pumping until you get the amount you want, even if it's full, or D, you can afford a can of gas? Nice. Uh, Catherine's hand went up first. I would say A and D. <laughs> <laughs> a is A is correct. You know the big yeah. thing. A lot of people don't realize the damage that it can do when you keep pumping and pumping and pumping. It will saturate that charcoal canister with fuel. Next thing you know, you got a check engine light on because of the okay. evaporative emission okay. system. So it's always best. I mean, if you want to go 10, 15 cents higher or whatever or to the nearest dollar, but don't keep pumping yeah. it. Yeah, it's yeah. fun to try and do that when you're like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to get it exactly at this number. Yeah, and it's like prices right at the pump. Yeah, you, know, you want to get yeah. it right exactly. without going yeah. over. Exactly. So, so there you okay. go. Once it clicks, turn it off. Shut it so. off. Okay. All right. Question. Oh yeah, you're, I get a she's like, I want I the goods. I want the merch. Yes. Junior bits. All right. Question number two. Here we go. If your vehicle has a timing belt, which is typically a costly repair, you should replace it A, when the belt breaks, B, when the belt causes an issue, C, at the recommended mileage interval, D, any belt from Target should work. Chris's hand went up. Uh, uh, C. At the, at the recommended mm -hmm. mileage interval. That is correct. That yeah. seems right. That's yeah. correct. And a lot of people don't realize, I mean, because a timing belt is, like I say, a cost of repair, it's usually twelve to $1,500 to do a timing belt and water mm -hmm. pump. That's why you see a lot of the vehicles sitting on the used car lots at that mileage interval because nobody wants to do that as a maintenance repair, so they'll trade them off. Or, but uh, you do not want one to break because it will do internal engine damage on almost all new vehicles. So then you're paying more. Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, okay. if, if you're driving and it breaks, does the car just like instantly stop or what happens? Uh, it, it'll, yeah, it'll stop. I mean, okay. It, even some, you know, some of them will jump time, or it, where the belt will actually stretch and not break, and it'll jump time. Uh, either one, you you don't want. Okay, gotcha. All right. Question number three. Here we go. If you have a newer vehicle with the R one two three four Y F refrigerant, that the uh, system capacity is usually less than the previous types of systems, you should expect which of the following: A to pay more to have the system serviced, B, to pay less to have the system serviced, C, for the service to take less time to complete, D, a penguin to steal your car. <laughs> Catherine. Oh, no. Um, the A. A, to pay more to have the system serviced? No, service? B, I'm sorry, B. B, to pay less to have the system no, serviced. No, I'm sorry, A. A. I meant A. You should have stayed with I A. I meant A. <laughs> the A. new systems, they don't hold as much refrigerant, but the new refrigerant is a lot more uh, Cost-wise, okay. I mean, the, the, yeah. the cost of the new refrigerant is more, but most systems don't hold as much, and it will take a lot longer to service that system. So, you know, when you used to see the the 149 or whatever for air conditioning systems, now you're seeing four or five hundred dollars, depending on how much the system holds, but they don't hold as much. All right, lightning okay. round. We got 60 seconds Ooh. left. When purchasing a new vehicle, it's best to A, have the vehicle inspected by a third party. B, purchase the vehicle, then take it to your normal service provider. C, trust that what the seller states on their certified inspection and not worry about it. Or D, why a new car? Have you considered a horse? They only eat A. <laughs> Catherine. Oh, A and Cat D. I didn't, yeah. Catherine says A and, and D. D. 
A would be the correct answer. Okay. You want to have it inspected before you buy it. And gotcha. most, most uh, lots will let you take the vehicle to a, uh, your own uh, mechanic and have it checked out if they want to sell the car. So There you go. Okay. You do that often then? We do a lot of <laughs> used vehicle purchase inspections, which okay. we highly yeah. recommend. If there's something that somebody's not going to fix, we want to make sure that, that whatever they are buying, that they're not buying something and finding out after the fact. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Okay. Whether you... Uh, you know, I never get candy. Uh, whether you've got a car you want to get inspected, oil change, AC, how can people get a hold of you, good We're sir? At, uh, 4910 Johnson Avenue, Northwest in Cedar Rapids. Uh, you can give us a call at 319-396-4206. Uh, You'll see our Everyday Iowa mm -hmm. mug right behind the yes. desk as you walk in. Yes, you and will. He's got a little shrine built just for and us. And you'll see Chris's car there this Chris's week. car, which should be there until 2026. Yes. So. Oh, boy. Always it's good to see you, my friend. It's in good hands, though. You guys, yeah, yeah. it is. So. We'll give you more candy in the break. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Al, for being here. Thank you, guys.